This, 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 this is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized use of this authorized Hey, what's going on, everybody out there? This your boy Marcus Elbow, man. Welcome back to the Elbow Lab. Uh, this tutorial is going to be about Pro Tools and how to use Pro Tools as a master and use Reason as a slave, and just drag the track along with you while you're recording your vocals without actually recording Reasons inside of Pro Tools. I think this is a great way to record because what it does is it it allows you to drop your vocals and perfect your vocals, but yet giving you the opportunity to go back and work on your track even more if you want to do some more composing you want to do some more different things to your track you don't have to you know like finalize that recording right away so let's get started don't forget elbowlab.com is up man go check the website out it's hot to death all right we already got pro tools up uh i'm gonna go up to file and i'm going to go to open recent and we were working on test two so let's just get test two up and going all right test two is up and ready to go all right we had already uh worked on some tracks we had already like put some tracks inside of this uh inside of pro tools before so we're not going to worry about that what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of get money i'm just going to go and i'm going to delete that let me make sure i can delete that let's go up here all right uh we're gonna go up to track and then we already you know clicked on it we're just gonna delete it it's gonna ask me do i want to get rid of it yep i want to get rid of it all right let's go to the mix view <clears throat> okay all right we're up in the mix view okay now what we want to do is i want to uh okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a track and we're going to create an instrument track so that we could talk to Reason. So we could hey, call Reason and say, hey, Reason, man, we need you to come holler at us. We want to uh, have you play a track while we work on some vocals. So let's go up to track, go to new, and we're just going to create one track. We're going to go stereo, and then over in the audio track, we're going to go instrument track. Leave everything else default, push create. All right, that track has been created. Okay, now all we have to do now is go up to the insert. One thing I need to say before I, I get started on this is uh, it's something that I probably should have told you in the beginning. Let's go back to the mix view. And what you need to do is you need to go over to the tempo. Whenever you're working with reasons and you're bringing a track in, uh, from reasons and you're going to use Pro Tools as a master you want to make sure that you designate what your tempo needs to be because see what happened is since Pro Tools is the master whatever you have the tempo set in Pro Tools it's going to set the same tempo in reason and if you did your tempo at 62 and it already comes as default as 120 beats per minute guess what's going to happen yeah your beat is going to be going hella fast and you're going to be like what the hell is going on so let's go ahead on and change that to um let's say 98 okay and let's back out of that let's go back up to the window and we're going to go back to the mix view and now okay now we back on that track okay and the way that you know that this is an instrument track is because as you can tell from all the other tracks you have this additional information up here for its volume mute pan and stuff like that okay all right, let's go ahead on and let's bring the insert in. So click on the insert, go to multi-channel plug-in. You want to do the top one. Do not do the bottom one because that will bring Reason in as mono, which is one track. You want it to be stereo. All right, unless you're, you're bringing vocals in. Now, if you're bringing vocals in, you can go mono, but we're going to bring a track in. All right, go down to instrument and then go to Reasons. There you go, right there. Okay, it's going to bring up Rewire. Rewire is a a deal used to say okay rewire means we're going to rewire we're going to bring in two different type of softwares and we're going to wire them together okay <clears throat> now one thing you need to know is that whenever you uh initially start up 
reasons using Pro Tools is just going to bring the demo song in. Okay, we do not want the demo song. So go ahead on and exit out of that. Go up to File and then go down and get whatever track you want to bring in. Let's just bring in Death. Okay, Death is going to load up in a few seconds. There we go. Okay. All right, now death has loaded up. Now, all we have to do now, we can push play here. We can push play on reasons and it will play. Since that they're tied together now, they're married. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And we're going to go we're going to go to the window inside of Pro Tools and we're going to bring back up the edit view. Okay? And then we're just going to push play and see what happens. Here we go. Now see what happened there is that that's not the tempo of that track, okay? That track is a little bit faster than that. So as you can see already, I told you not to make that mistake and then I went along and made that mistake because I thought that that track was 98 beats per minute. Let's just go over here and let's increase that. Let's go one, let's go 110 and see what happens. Go back up, push play. okay that's not the speed but we're not gonna worry about that right now just make sure that whenever you are going to use Pro Tools as a master and you're gonna use uh, reasons as a slave you need to in, you need to make sure that you know the tempo of your reason track and then put that inside of Pro Tools before you go out and get it and then once you bring it in it'll be perfect anyway as you can see down here at the bottom here down here at the bottom this is where our instrument track is located okay and as you can see it's like a gray area here okay what that is saying is that hey you have information here but there's nothing going to be recorded here okay because as you remember when we had up the the wave file you could see the waves inside of the edit view but when you're using the instrument track you cannot see you cannot see the waves because they're not there it's not recording anything all it's doing is pulling reason along for the ride so that you can work on your vocals and everything works the same as if you had a wave so if you want to go in you want to push record you want to start working on your vocals you can use all that you can go ahead and record everything but yet you're just pulling reasons along so I think that is a great way to record I, I record like that almost every session that I do I record that way because I want the ability to be able to go back and work on any track I mean and work on my track and reasons some more I'm not done, done with the track I want to hear the vocals so that I could tailor the track to the vocals so forth and so on doing all my breaks and composing and all that stuff so that was a quick tutorial on how to use reason as a master and uh, I'm sorry, use Pro Tools as a master and use Reason as a slave, okay? All right, hopefully y'all guys got something out of that. Uh, you know, if I didn't explain it, uh, and, you know, good enough, you need me to go in more detail, please comment, rate, uh, you know, leave a comment, let me know, you know, if there's anything else you want to know, and we're going to move forward, all right? I appreciate you guys coming through and checking out the tutorial. Don't forget, elbowlab.com is officially up. Uh, do not do not hesitate. Please subscribe. We got more videos to come. All right? I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.